Here we go, guys. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be fun. You know I like that game, the Astro, the Astro like uh, controller game. You know what? one thing I will say about PlayStation though is PlayStation makes the best controllers. Like their controllers are solid. They're like so good. Like compare it, for instance, to like Nintendo controllers. Like Nintendo controllers are cheap as f they suck. They always break. But like PlayStation controllers, they're like they're f solid. The Pro Switch controller is solid as f I mean, it's okay. It's not the PlayStation controller, though. It's fine. So it's like the GameCube controller. Like, it's fine. It's not like... It's it's a good controller. But the PlayStation, like the new PlayStation controller, is, is like, it's crazy good. The PlayStation, the, the current PlayStation controller is like one of my favorite controllers. You know what's really interesting? You, you, one thing I think about all the time is Nintendo is so good at innovating though. Like I know guys, I, I understand that they're a bunch of but you have to admit that they're really good at innovating where everyone else is kind of stagnant. And like Nintendo always creates some crazy sh and everyone copies them after. Um, like for instance, anyone remember the Rumble Pack? The Nintendo 64 Rumble Pack? And I remember everyone saying like that it was stupid. Like you pay this thing and it fucking spins around. It, it like rumbles, like who cares, right? And like everyone said that. And now every controller has a fucking rumble in it. Every single one has it. Oh, that's cute. Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas Doucet, the studio head at Team Asobi. We couldn't be happier with the reception to Astrobot and to see how much joy Astro is bringing to homes all around the world. On behalf of Team Asobi, thank you so much. Now, we still have a few surprises up our sleeves. Today's trailer was a sneak peek at a DLC we'll release later this year at no additional cost. We'll have more to share soon. But for now, let's enjoy the state of play. All right. remember when it happened but i remember how i felt make it for pc you won't <laughs> father told us to hide when they came to our house i actually just bought a playstation vr because it was on sale it was like really cheap it was like a hundred something dollars off so i got one just in case for like uh just in case it was like some game that that i want to stream then, then they took him away Mother said I couldn't play outside anymore. Did I tell Alvi? Uh, can you tell him, Julio? She said the country was sick. But we would be okay. Mother always said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. We were both wrong. They live inside our heads. Ugh. Is this like another like souls like game? What is this? Oh fuck. Time for RE7 VR. Fuck. Maybe maybe for a subathon goal. Dude. I don't want to play Resident Evil 7 VR. Fuck. Yeah. 
because VR, um, because addictive, I don't like horror games. I hate horror games. I get scared really easily. And then VR is like even worse. Like VR makes everything worse. Like for instance, phasmophobia, I don't get scared of phasmophobia at all, but in VR, it's really bad. Yeah, in VR, oh my, oh my god, dude. Phasmophobia is so terrifying in VR, it's so bad. I don't know, Nucky, I'm dumb, man. That's the point, ain't it? Yeah, but I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Mortuary Assistant has VR too, apparently. Uh, honestly, I hard veto. I hard veto Mortuary Assistant. I don't care what anyone says. I won't play it. I don't care. Even if LV tells me to play it for for a subathon goal, I will. I will say no. My story is a tale of rules. Oh, the pieces of VR here. Your fire. Oh, hey, Serda. Here, this is a VR game. Have you seen Yana? Something happened. She's in no state to be wandering out in the metro alone. I need to go after her. Their bodies arranged in some sort of ritual. Please, just let Yana be all right. You guys, you guys don't understand. I play a lot of VR. So looking at this, I can already tell this is going to be so scary. What is that? Like, oh my God, dude. I, 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 I know. I can tell you right now that this is going to be really free. Oh my God, fuck. I keep hearing other voices on the radio. You said there were people there. Did you not hear any of that? This looks so no. terrifying. Is that you? And I know it doesn't look terrifying. It looks kind of whatever. It is 100 times worse in VR. 100, 100 times. I'm seeing things. Hearing things. I feel like I'm chicken sounds. Vac, vac. I would play this though if I was forced to. Sometimes we need to Ruins Magus? I do, I do want to play Ruins Magus. No, I have it. I have Ruins Magus. I, I, I would love to play it, actually. Thing we fear. How would you be forced to you, my manager? Usually if there's like some kind of viewer goal, because we have like a subathon on Saturday. I only do one subathon a year, by the way. I'm very particular on that, or I don't, I don't really do subathons. So it's always in September because that's when subs are on sale. This is what we got here. And 700 is play a horror game. Uh, wait, no, 1000 is play a VR horror game. Oh man, dude, VR horror is like, it's so, it's so bad. It's so Oops. bad. Can it at least be like a cool VR horror game, guys? Can we at least play like something with real gameplay like this? Like Metro Awakening, can we at least play something like this? It does look really scary though. So, how does it feel to learn the truth about the night sky? Awakening a PSVR exclusive? I don't, I, I think, I don't know. Ago, you humans slaughtered each other until the whole world lay in ruins. But what is this? And yet, you have been granted another chance in Aurora. It must be the will of your beloved mother goddess. However, I still have no trust in your kind. Wait, what game is this? This game looks sick. Wait, wait, what is this? Oh, it's mid. Oh no, it looks it looks so cool though.
Wait, this game looks super cool. What, what, what? Prove yourself. If you survive this trial. Perhaps you might become one of us. Wait, is it not good? Is this game not good? I don't know. What, what? Wait, I thought... <laughs> I thought... I thought... I thought this... I thought this was dead. I love Power World. This is such a good game. Arches was an MMO and they got dead, but it's active, but mostly dead. I see. Because you shoot Pokemon, you play as a uh, as a poacher. Not dead, lossy then. Oh, it's out now on PS5. Dang. Thanks to Pocket Pair for that new look at Pal World, an incredible open world survival game that's launching today on the PlayStation 5 console. We have a few more games with breaking news today. Starting with the return of two beloved RPGs from the original PlayStation. What? From the original PlayStation? Shut the fuck! What? Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Dude, dude, oh, the ain't no, oh, oh, I love this the game. Shut up, Julio, shut up. Lunar, the Silver Star story complete. I, guys, I love this game. I love this game so much. And Lunar 2, Eternal Blue complete with updated visuals. I actually have, I, I literally have the Game Boy, the, the Game Boy game on my desk right now. Game Boy Advance Lunar Legend. I have it like literally right now. I'm holding it in my hand right now widescreen mode and more and when everything is pinned on a hook. lunar remastered collection comes to ps5 and ps4 in spring 2020 dude I'm, oh, dude oh my god dude. okay this this state of play is already like fucking the best like um I oh my god two updates on teenage mutant ninja turtles shredder's revenge First, the radical reptiles. Am I the only one that thinks it's weird that you can play April? That's so weird. It does it dude, hundred percent I'm playing it from Memberberry. Is am I the only one that thinks it's weird? It's weird. Mona Lisa as Why? Today. Okay, what's this? Oh, oh boy. I've taken on another form? And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Dude, that is, that is so ridiculous. Like, what? <laughs> what the hell? I'm a furry. <laughs> generations as part of the upcoming yeah i've become a furry <laughs> sonic the hedgehog 3 movie pack this update is inspired by scenes from the sonic the hedgehog 3 movie and arrives december 12th the sonic the hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the digital deluxe edition that's like, dude, that's which lets so you funny. play the game three days ahead of its october 25th release date
Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, I'm kind of lightheaded from the Lunar announcement. I'm a little lightheaded. Like, I'm just, I'm like, <laughs> that was like, dude, that was the best announcement I've seen. Oh, um, that's the best, the the best announcement I've had in like a while, in a long while. Hello, yeah, I'm gonna drink. You're right. I'm, I'm gonna drink. Sakaguchi, uh, producer of Fantasy and Neo Dimension. You, you know what you know what would make it better is if they announce the new fantasy life game that would be great it's not gonna happen though randomエンカウントを貯めて一遍に戦ったりスキルの起動操作したりと短式バトルにも信用素を盛り込んでいます。What makes Lunar games different from other RPGs? Um, nothing. It's just I like it. Because it was like my childhood, so I'm like, it was like my favorite game, one of my favorite games. It's, it's one of my my favorite game is still Rhapsody, but it was one of my favorites. Better than the sequel to to Phantom Brave. Um, you know the thing is though, it's like I played Lunar so long ago. I played it a lot. I I, I beat that game multiple times. But um, it was so long ago that I played it that my memory of it is like super hazy. So like it, like playing it again is super exciting because like I, it it's almost like I get to re-experience it all over again. You know, wait, Fantasy Life got a thing announced. Wait, did they really? Yeah, Fantasy Life was a great game. That was a really fun game. For uh, uh what was that DS? That was for DS, right? It was really fun. Yeah, Isn't it a Sega CD game? Yeah, the original one was on Sega. Was it CD and not Saturn? We're Fantasy Life-I, the girl the who steals time, Age, was announced like Let's a month ago. Really? But it, wait, the, the girl who steals time, is it the same game? It's like the same, same Fantasy Life? We've gotten word from the wardens. Have they found Gillenade? I'm not gonna lie. I'm still probably gonna play this game. Oh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Depends like how much it costs. Not yet, but they found. It, I'll probably wait for reviews. I'll probably wait for reviews. But like, unless the reviews are scathingly well, not reviews. Sorry, I don't mean reviews like the game reviewers. Like as in, I'm gonna wait for like other content creators to play it and then see what they think of it. Because uh, I, I'm kind of like. I really want to like this game. I probably will play it unless it's utter trash. Like unless it's like really bad. Something else worth killing. One of her blighted dragons. Not trusting game journalists, dude. They they don't even play games, dude. They're not gamers, dude. They're 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 fucking. They're not. They're not gamers. They're just fucking propagandists. Rook, you made it. Good. Would I actually thought about this like the other day? I was like. I kind of felt like maybe I should do game reviews because I'm just so sick of all like the the bullshit, you know? I thought about making like a channel just doing like game reviews of like kind of smaller games, big releases plus smaller games, and then like giving like an actual honest review of it. But it it takes me too much time. It. We have unfinished Unless I just unless I just talk over it, like I just like say what I think like in one shot business with that dragon we've tracked it to a ruined tower nearby that lair is a death trap we need to lure her out to have any chance so we challenge her draw the dragon out into the open then attack i'm not gonna lie all of this like stuff like really really ruins Just games for me, me now Everyone, get ready. Wardens, ready ballistics. Like all of this, like mo all of this, like modern audiences shit, like really ruins games for me. Like I'll, I'll, I'll see a game, and I'll be like, that looks really good, and then, and then I'll see it, you know, I'll start, I'll start to see like the modern audiences thing, and it just immediately like sours the game for me. Wait for it. Dude, 
Come on. Dude, just show me. I just, I don't care. I, I want. Oh, here we go. Finally. Holy Let's fuck. Go. Yo, this gameplay looks pretty sick. I know it is modern on this, this this looks okay. What, what's so bad about this? I heard a lot of people saying that the, the combat looks bad. What's bad about this? This looks pretty sick. Okay, it's got like a sort of... Oh, that's cool. That was kind of cool. Like you can direct your party members with like a selection wheel. Okay. Yeah, yeah so I was literally thinking that, Saber. Like Mass Effect, yeah. Wait, can you like have different builds in this game? Like can you can you be like a warrior or anything like that? Or is it like you're you're locked in whatever the main character's class is? It doesn't feel like there's any weight behind the attacks. Oh like that attack looks pretty cool. Yeah, like whatever that basic. The thing is, though, is the basic attacks generally, like you can't do too much with basic attacks. I, I, I mean, we don't. It's kind of hard to tell because I can't really hear it very well. Um, the sound matters a lot for that kind of stuff. Like that looked really cool. Like that that attack, whatever that was. Like the way that it, the way it comes in, and like the way it like kind of like it like shrinks right before it fires. That's, oh, you know what? The hit particle could be better. But, but yeah, it, it could, it, it's a little bit hard to say because they are fighting a giant fucking dragon, right? So, like, I, I don't know, like, how would that feel against, like, you know, whenever you're fighting, like, a giant dragon, it's, it's like a lot of your effects do you already feel muted. So, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. It's going to depend on the sound, really. Okay. I mean, that looks pretty sick. Like, I mean, I mean, you know, I, I gotta give credit where credit's due. I can't just be, like, 100% shitting on the game, because it's, like... Because it's got, like, uh, you know, modern audience and stuff. Like, this... Th th that's a pretty sick attack. Like, like, how it slows down, and then it, like, it, like, kind of sucks and then blows up. Like, that, that looks kind of cool, honestly. Like, if you want a game that feels like limp dick, uh, Sword Art Online, the new one. Second dragon! Press the attack! Bring that first one down! A really, really good one, though, is like, um, Grand Blue Fantasy. Gra Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is, like, amazing. When it comes to, like, the feel, like, the, the feel and the weight of the attacks is so good. Relink is great. Vaughn! Gilanane. Consume their flesh. Shatter their bones. <laughs> That was blockings from new hack games. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'll have to see. Like, I, I honestly thought the gameplay looked okay. Of course, I'm not playing it, so it's kind of hard for me to say. But it, it, it looked. It, the gameplay looked not that bad. I'm gonna be real, guys. This it looked okay. This is the first time in Bright Falls. The FBC's research department set up a facility. The lake house. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, I would have just kept.
kept on driving. What is this? Alan Wake? I've never played Alan Wake. I would not like it. All right. Give up the firearm. PSVR? Wait, is this Hitman? Yo, is this like an actual VR Hitman? Like for realsies? Oh my God, looks so good. Okay, you know what, guys? It was worth it. What do you guys think? You think it was worth it that I bought the PSVR? It's starting to look pretty worth it. I've only played the original Hitman. Like, the, the PlayStation 2, like, original Hitman was the only one I've ever played. Yeah. It's been that long. It's been that long, Razin. I've only played the original PS2 Hitman. I actually have it still. It's probably at my dad's house. Like, the original one. Wait, that's the... Wait, the... the okay, hold on. If the, the one mission I remember was there was, like, a mission where there's, like, a hill. And then there's, like, a pizza. I'm thinking of the right game, right? There's, like, a pizza mission. And then there's a mission with, like, a hill. And then it's like a mansion, it's like a white mansion. And then like, you can like go on the hill with a sniper rifle. It was a long time ago, man. Am I talking about the right game? Is that the original? That's the one I played. That looks cool. All right, well, we'll, we'll probably play this too. I mean, I might, I might as well, right? Because I, I have the, I have the PSVR. I might as well play it. Few know the truth. I uh -huh. spoke with Cain and my brethren until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. That is so fucking edgy. The fate of this what is this? Preordained in an instant. What I don't know what this is. Is this is this like a remake? Oh, Legacy of Pain. I never played it. I never played. I know what it is, but I never played it. I was not prepared for what lay beyond this threshold. No, I don't know. The future has always been I mostly I mostly played RPGs. Uh when I was a kid I mostly played RPGs and anime games like weeb games. Written. Don't fight it, Rassia. Nerd, yeah. Legacy Looks pretty cool. Game Soul Reaver 1 and 2 Remastered arrives December 10th, celebrating the 25th anniversary of the first game's release. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, the games I had. Atelier games. I played Atelier games. I played... I played mostly RPGs. Breath of Fire. Final Fantasy. It's like a bunch of random RPGs. I actually like had Tony Hawk. 
I actually do have the original Tony Hawk. I have the PlayStation 1 Tony Hawk, actually, like the original one. Did you know what game is fun? So, like, I, I the game was probably not that good. Probably kind of a meh game. But I just have fond memories of, like, hanging out with people and playing, like, how oh, was that game? It's like, it's like an N64, like, hockey game. But then, like, no one actually played the actual hockey. They just They just beat each other up. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. This is an old hockey game. It's like you don't actually play the hockey game. You just beat each other up. You seconds. just you just get into a fight. Like it has like a fighting game in it. No, it was like it was like Wayne Gretzky or something. Yeah, <laughs> Wayne Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Gretzky hockey. Yeah. <laughs> dude, whatever happened to NBA Jam, dude? That game was sick. Like NBA Jam and it was NBA Hang Time. <laughs> So. Dude, hang time was so fun, dude. <laughs> He's on fire! Boom shakalaka! <laughs> oh my god, ancient memories, man. God, I still have to play, like, dude, I have so many games to play, you guys. I have to play freaking Wukong. I have to play Stellar Blade. Dude, dude, I think it's over for me for Stellar Blade. It's just, I just don't have time. Up next. Epic Games brings a split-screen mode to LEGO Fortnite this October. This feature enables friends and family to explore the world and build villages together while playing on the same PS5 or PS4. And in other Fortnite news, the yeah, new eh. Fortnite Limited Edition DualSense wireless controller arrives later this year with pre-orders starting October 3rd. Yo, where, what happened to that Concord controller? Can you buy that controller? Dude, I kind of want to buy one. Hold on, wait. Concord PS5 controller. Can you buy it? Dude, should I buy one? Should I buy a Concord limited edition controller? What do you guys think? Should I get one? Visit PlayStation blog for more details. Next, it's one versus <laughs> one thousand in Dynasty Warriors Origins. And Koei Tecmo Games is ready to share the release date. Let's take a look. Guardian of Peace, you have crossed paths with men who may one day bring about order. Until then, you must adapt to the chaos and find a way to survive. So choose your path wisely. Go I'm not, you know, I, I, could, I could never get into these hero. games. Like, like, to me, these games are only fun when you play co-op. Like, you have, like, another person that you play with. It, 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 I can't... I can't get into this. It's so mindless. But I guess that's the appeal. That's probably the appeal, is that it's mindless. You claim to strive for justice, but have no way to achieve it. Tearing down the system without providing an alternative is mere wanton destruction. This is not Dynasty Warriors? I mean... Am I wrong? Did I say anything wrong? Isn't isn't that actually what the game is about? Is it, it's kind of mindless? Like you're just really OP and then you just like beat up a bunch of people and it's just kind of like brain off, have a good time. I've played these games. I haven't played like the original Dynasty Warriors, but I've played the Fate one. I've played uh I've played the uh, the the Fire Emblem one. I played the Zelda one. And they're all the same. die has been cast All yeah there's nothing wrong with that it's kind of fun to play to with like school. like a friend like you have like a co-op and then you just play it it's kind of fun Pirate Warriors is fun though. Yeah, I want to play that with my mom. I'm I'm actually just waiting for like a time to play it with my mom. I was still hoping that I imagined the whole thing. It's burned into my mind. And that's co-op, doesn't it? It does. I'm pretty sure it does. Pirate Warriors. So, Captain, what's your team been getting up to? 
The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition. Mine included. Whoa, this forest is amazing! My fur isn't built for this kind of weather! That's causing the water currents to surge too. Okay, you know what? I will play this game. I will play this game, and I will give Monster Hunter another chance. I don't like Monster Hunter. I know that sounds crazy. Everyone loves this game. I did not have fun with it. I will give it another chance. This is its territory. And we're intruders. Grand Blue Rising Android, but hates Monster Hunter. Uh, well, you see, in Grand Blue, you actually fight the. In Grand Blue, you actually just fight. You just fight right away. Like you, there's like an enemy, and then you fight him, and you just fight him the whole time. In Monster Hunter, like I, I, you, you chase him down. Like they shit on you, and then they fight another monster, and then they like fuck in front of you. And dude, I just. Dude. I just want to kill the monster. I just want to fight the monster. I just want to 1v1 the monster. I don't want like this, this, oh, they're running away, you know, running away and like now I have to hunt them down again and then like wait for this, like, wait for this battle between them. Uh, leave you using the hot and monster hunter. Listen, I played another game that was kind of like Monster Hunter. It was called, um, it was on Switch. What was that game called? Not God Eater. It was like Dauntless. I think that's the one. Yes, it was this game, Dauntless. I was okay with that game. I played that game and I thought it was, I thought it was, I, I, I liked it actually. I like Dauntless. I liked it. I I I I liked Dauntless when I played it. Dauntless is budget monster hunter. Well, I mean, I had more fun with the gameplay. Maybe you guys are just too. Maybe you guys just have played Monster Hunter so much. Here's the thing: I have no attachment to Monster Hunter, so you guys probably played monster hunter for so so much that you were that you were okay with the bullshit like you were like i i'm just used to this right whereas i wasn't so i played dauntless it went straight into the action and and the tracking phase wasn't like too long it was like just enough and then like i liked the fights so it's like it, it, it was it was fun to me whereas like in monster hunter it was like the tracking thing was like so long and then and then uh, the the part that got me on uh, monster hunter was I was fighting a monster and I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. Like, okay, we're finally fighting. And then as I was fighting the monster, another monster came in out of nowhere and then they started fighting. And then I was just like kind of standing there like watching them fight. And I was like, yeah, and I turned it off. That's literally what happened. It's it. The white wraith. It's so I'm too impatient to hunt? Yeah. Why would I? Why do I care? Why do I care about like two monsters fighting each other? Why do I want to sit there and watch a cutscene of them fighting? Like, like. It's real. Is that what we're after? The white wraith. Throw a dung pond at them. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. That's what I'm saying. That was my new player experience. Like, I haven't played. You have to understand. This was my first Monster Hunter game. Everyone hyped the fuck out of it. Everyone hyped the fuck out of this game. It was my first experience playing the game and I just thought it was not fun. And like, maybe you can say, you know, maybe if you're used to that, if like you've played all the other Monster Hunter games and you're just like used to like, like waiting and like kind of sitting around, then like maybe you're okay with it. But for me as a new player, I wasn't, 
I wasn't, I didn't have the attachment to the game. The game was whatever to me. It was like my first time playing it. So as a new player, that was my experience. And I thought it was, I thought it was boring. Leaf, are you possessed by the evil spirit of dark side? What are you talking about? Like what I'm saying is you guys might be clouded by the fact that you played other Monster Hunter games. I didn't. That was literally my first one. And I didn't think it was fun. It seems we must do a more thorough investigation. What is that thing? An you, know the, 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 you don't mind the duels? You think it was kind of cool? Yeah, but I don't. I, I don't. I didn't like it. Because I, I don't want to wait around. I just want to fight. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... Species. Doc says, I don't find Monster Hunter fun either. Yeah, I mean, I, I love, like, games where you fight bosses, obviously. Like, I like Dragalia Lost, for instance. Like, it's one of my favorite games. Obviously, I like Grand Blue Relink. Um, yeah, I just didn't. I just didn't like that part of Monster Hunter. And you have to understand that's like the first battle, the very, very, very first battle. Maybe my opinion would have been different if that wasn't the first battle. You're a hunter. Well, the thing is, is realistic doesn't mean it's fun, right? Like if you if you play a game, you say you're playing a modern game. It's like, oh, well, now you have to go do your part time job and you have to like sit there and like it, it doesn't make it. Fun. Realism doesn't make something fun. I think that's a dumb argument. You it's a video game. And you do nothing. Give it to me. And I'll. Simulation games are the most popular games right now. Yeah, but you play a simulation game for that reason. I don't play Monster Hunter. I, I I didn't sign up for Monster Hunter for that. Like this is a dumb argument. Like like what are we talking about? Like what are we what are we what are we talking about? Like yeah, simulation games are popular, and in games that are simulation games, obviously you want things to be you you want things to be realistic. But that doesn't mean that realism is always fun. That doesn't make any sense. And like I said, I'll give it another shot. I, I'll, I'll give it another shot. And like, maybe I'll like it this time. But I don't know. Last time I didn't enjoy it. That's all I'm saying. It, you know what it could have been addictive? Is I was playing Dauntless with like three people. Like, like I, ha I had a three-man party for Dauntless. So it was kind of fun to like, just kind of talk in voice chat and like kill monsters. Damn, maybe I should, maybe I should pre-order. Maybe I should pre order. That's kind of a hot outfit. Yeah, red mage drip for real. Do you guys want to see a video? I actually have a video of me playing Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter World, because I remember I shot a video of my cat. Like my cat was like in love with the little pet. So like I had, like when I was uh, picking like the little cat that was gonna be like my partner, my cat jumped up on the TV and started like talking to it. <laughs> it was like so funny. And I recorded it cause I thought it was so funny. It's like somewhere, it's on my Twitter somewhere. I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's on my Twitter somewhere. It's like somewhere on my Twitter. Like it might have been like a million years ago. Like it was, it was, it would have been a while ago. So it might be kind of hard to find. Let me see if I can find it. I remember posting it because it was so funny. Um, man, that would have been like so long ago, huh?
Damn, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I have it on my phone though. I have it on my phone. But I I I can't post it right away because I have to check it for I have to opsec check it. I have to make sure it doesn't show like uh any any like you know things. Um Yeah. Oh you found it? Wait, you found it? Holy crap, you're crazy, Julio. Uh, here, I'll, I'll... By the way, you guys, check out my Twitter. At LeafletVT. <laughs> this is like an ancient video. She's like, she's like, she's in love. They're like both in love. <laughs> God, it's like such an old video, man. Tuxedo cat? Yeah, tuxedo cat. Oh, look at those chompers. Okay, trail spots aren't cheap, so let's get started. A hunter with a mysterious past and her uh, very heroic friends. You know, I never got into these games. The only one I played was uh, Harry Potter. That's right, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Hold on, guys, I'm gatekeeping. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Uh, the last one I played was Harry Potter of um, the Lego games. It's like so long ago. I, 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 I couldn't really get into them. Join them as they explore, hunt like wacky outfits. Why am I saying Harry Potter so much? Because I got canceled because I played Harry Potter. Decorate their village. Nailed it. This is awesome. But I played I played Hogwarts Legacy and people got really mad at me, so I just like to throw it in people's faces. There's more. With the digital deluxe edition, you get this exciting uh, blue roller thing. That snazzy costumes like the Shadow Stolborn outfit. And this uh I don't know what that is. That or that. Or why they're climbing in that cannon. But look how much fun they're having. Come and join the party at Mother's Heart. <laughs> Phew, got it all in. No, you didn't. Oh, I forgot to mention the pre-order. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Zatani. We are so excited for everyone to get their hands on LEGO Horizon Adventures when it launches on November 14th. Wait, hold on, wait. What is her title? So excited for every Content communication specialist. That's crazy. Everyone to get their hands what are, on what LEGO a, what Horizon a job Adventures title? when it launches on November 14th. And Aloy has more good news on the horizon. Are any of these gonna actually be toys? Probably not. Aloy's original adventure, Horizon Zero Dawn, is being remastered for PS5 and PC by Gorilla and Nixes. I know, guys, Dawn I never played these games. Are they good? I actually have one of them. Uh, is this a good game? Like, should I play these games? Remastered includes more than ten. They look kind of cool, but I don't really know. And mid, oh mid. That bring the game to the same visual fidelity as Horizon Forbidden West. Mid. I mean, this looks sick. This gameplay looks sick, though. This new version of Horizon Zero Dawn will arrive October 31st. And anyone Let's remaster Horizon. Of the game <laughs> I know, Shy. To, to the new PS5 version for $9.99. Visit PlayStation Blog for more details and watch the full trailer to see all the enhancements. Dude, types. I gotta play Bloodborne. Like, people, people are like really, really fucking sucking Bloodborne's dick. Like, I've never played Bloodborne. I feel like I probably should because everyone's going crazy about it. Epic quest. New content is on the way to the action-packed world of Stellar Blade. A new photo mode lets players set up the perfect picture with your photo mode. We all know what people are going to use photo mode for. Choice of poses, expressions, and filters. A 
and Stellar Blade's original soundtrack featuring over 180 songs from the game is available on select streaming services starting today. Man, I really do want to play this game. I really do want to finish playing this game. This game was really good. But that's not all. What? Dude, dude these guys just collab with everyone, dude. Dude, dude, Nier, dude, Nier is like the fucking bicycle of video games, dude. They're like the turbo, they're like the turbo slut. The turbo slut of gaming, Nier. Worlds collide in the Stellar Blade and Nier Automata collaboration, coming to Stellar Blade later this year. Uh, why is that, Julio? Why is, why is that? Haven't you read why he lets him do it? Why is that? He said that so long as he gets money, he will let anyone use the IP. First. Yes, we will glad we will we will gladly say yes to anything for money. <laughs> honestly, kind of based. Honestly, based. Based. I like See this guy. See how much to get near. I like this guy. Word based. Play games for October are WWE 2K24, Dead Space, and Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. These will be available to all PlayStation Plus members. That's amazing. That is amazing. Meanwhile, our library of PlayStation classics continues to grow, with two more fan favorites from the original PlayStation arriving later this year. Blood Omen Legacy of Kane and Capcom's Dino. I wonder how I wonder how much how much it costed. Naughty Dog fans know September 26th is the Last of Us Day, and we're celebrating by adding the critically acclaimed PS5 hit The Last of Us Part 1 to the PlayStation Plus game catalog this Are these day. games good, you guys, The Last of Us? This is the one with the mushroom zombies, right? Are these games actually good? What's going on? Controllers? Okay. I don't get it. Is it just new colors? New new colors. New paint, I sleep, put a hot anime girl on it, real shit. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Cerny. We recently revealed the newest addition to the PlayStation 5 family, PS5 Pro, alongside several games showcasing the superior frame rates and improved graphics that the new console makes possible. With PS5 mm -hmm. Pro, developers have access to three key improvements, an upgraded GPU, advanced ray tracing, and AI-driven upscaling that combine to bring developers closer to realizing their unique vision. We're excited mm. for players to get their hands on PlayStation 5 Pro when it launches this November. But in the meantime, how much is that shit? $700? Shut up. There, dude, there's no way. Hold on. Bro, it's $1,000. It's $1,000. Is you fucking kidding me right now? Disc free console? This was like the whole point. This was like the whole point of like um console gaming you can buy a pc for this amount you know like you can buy a, like a like an okay gaming pc for this amount of money that's so crazy that is so expensive disc dude <laughs> dude playstation 5 pro anniversary so this is the big dick version of it this is big dick big big dick bundle right here one thousand dollars Disc drive sold separately. They said, fuck the scalpers, give us the markup. Dude, for real. So what do you even get then from the 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 big dick version? Wait, what does the big dick version have? An extra, okay, extra controller? What is this? It comes with uh, one extra, wait, what does it have? What's special version of the PS5 Pro console? Awesome accessories. Wait, what are the awesome accessories? Pro console, wireless controller. Another one. Wait, wait. There's two. Dual Sense Edge. 
What the hell is a dual sense edge? What the heck is a dual sense edge controller? It's an elite controller. So you get one of each. Charging station, console cover. Wait a minute. Are you guys serious? Hold on. No, it has a stand. You guys, are, you guys lied. It's right here. Oh, it's a horizontal stand. Wait, if you want a vertical stand, you have to pay extra. It comes with a freaking... Oh, my God, dude. This is... This is crazy. This is crazy, dude. What the fuck? Okay, guys, I have a question, though. I have a question. Would you buy it if it had a USB flashlight? If it had a US USB flashlight and then it had, like, uh, like, a, like, a game with it. Like, it came with, like, Sengoku Rants or something. Then would you play it? Sengoku Rants Remake? <laughs> Sengoku Rants Remake and it came with a USB flashlight. Then would you buy it? <laughs> to be honest, already fucking you. That's so true. That's pretty crazy, though, dude. That's that's so crazy. That's really expensive for, like, kind of... Uh, dude, $700 for the bare bones one. That's wild. It's not even, like, a new gen. It's just, like, this is, like, the 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 half half gen console, right? So, like, what's the difference? Dude, that's so expensive. Dude, that is so... Even, dude... Even for me... Even for me, and then like I, I'm a streamer, and I can, I can business expense this, and even I'm like, mm, I don't know about that, you know, like, dude. We back. Stop. Yeah, what's up, Paula Chris? Thank you for the sub. Thank you. This is the biggest fuck you right here. You see this shit, guys, down here? This is the biggest fuck you. This is, dude, this is, this right here is like bend over. <laughs> that's what this, that, that's literally what they said. You could replace this with bend over right here. Like, dude, that's crazy. Like, you're already making it $700 just at the fucking stand. Like, what, dude, you're fucking crazy. This is, that's crazy. Am I the only one that thinks, like, every time they play, like, that kind of music that's, like, that's, like, uh, all about, like, how life is good and they're partying and, like, like, we're, we made it, guys. Like, that kind of music, whenever they play it in, like, these things, it's so off-putting to me. Like, the, like, the, the, the background music that they always add to these things. <laughs> exactly. Dude, that's exactly, exactly what I mean, Vokter. Corporal Pop. Hold on, wait, what the fuck? Okay, ho okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. What if I go into Suno and I type Corpo Pop? Is that actually like a genre? Corpo Pop. <laughs> Corpo Pop. Uh, PlayStation 5 Pro. All right, here we go. I'm creating. Look console in our hands. Future in our grass. Graphics like you've never seen. It's the best we promise. Don't worry about the price. Just enjoy the ride Vertical spin so sleek With every single Stop, no. beat Please. Life is good, let's celebrate Time of our life, can't hesitate PlayStation 5 Pro, heaven sent Every moment well spent Controller feels in control Kind of new graphics, we swear Take your places everywhere Dude, I can't Oh my 
my god it was dude it fit it fits so well <laughs> it fits so well dude there's no fucking way <laughs> I'm so upset that it works so well, dude. You know what you have to do, Leaf. Remake the trailer oh in your own Oh my god, image. dude. I didn't even write the lyrics to that. That was like pure AI. It was pure AI. I did not like... I, all I put was like, like Corpo Pop Song PlayStation 5. I put like a uh, PlayStation 5... Uh, uh, Corpo Song about PlayStation 5 Pro. Uh, don't worry about the price. It's really good. The vertical stand is worth it. The graphics are new. Life is good. <laughs> came up with that oh that's so crazy that's actually so crazy oh, oh dude oh dude it was so perfect i wonder how it works with the other one because there was like two it, it gave me t it gave me two let's see how it works with the other one it's the best way promise. It doesn't fit as much. Don't worry about the price. Just enjoy the ride. Actually, actually, it's okay. Stand so sleek. With every single beat. Life is good. Let's celebrate. Time of our life can't hesitate. PlayStation 5 Pro Heaven sent Every moment well spent Games that speak to your soul Controller feels in control Kinda new graphics we swear Take you places everywhere Days and nights blur away Living in this new display is all you need today PlayStation guides the way Life is good, let's celebrate Dude, that's... It doesn't fit as well, yeah, it doesn't fit as well The first one was so, so good though The first one was so perfect <laughs> That is ridiculous, man We are beyond the edge of Japan Oh, is this the... Okay, okay. I, I didn't see this yet. I actually waited. I waited for you guys. So let's see People it. People come north to disappear. But you... you People are mad again? All right, let's see. Are hunting. And now, every Ronin here is after you. Still think you're the hunter? Yo, hold up. Wait, is that a waifu? Wait a minute. Wait, is this why people are mad? Is that why people are mad? Are people mad because it's a waifu? Why are people mad? Less so the character, but the voice actor capture. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? I'm not gonna lie, I have no problem. I have no problem with it being being a girl character.
the voice actor doesn't matter wait what do you mean we are people mad that it's that that it's a girl I mean, it's not like it's not like she's based on a real person, right? It's not like she's based on a. It's not like she's based on a real person. People got a red flag from the main from the main being a woman, but where it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, okay, hold up. I I don't know what that has to do with the game, though. Hold on, let me think about it for a second. Okay, I can. You know what? You know what? I can see people being mad about that. Sure. What did she do? What did she do? What did what did she do? I mean, what, I mean, I mean, I mean, what is she P Diddy? Like, what happened? Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with the game, though. I mean, I I mean, yeah, I mean, perhaps it was a poor choice, but maybe they didn't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. Is there like any info on this? Actually, you guys have any info? So I really like Ghost of Tsushima. It's like one of the best games, I think. So apparently, the Ghost of Yote, a Progressive activist known for hating the police and telling straight women who disagree with LGBT to log off is not just the VA for the game, but the face and the mocap of the new Sucker Punch title. It's an asset. Okay, here's my question though. Did they say, so, okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. And I, this is gonna be kind of, this is gonna be a bit of an unexpected take, okay? You guys might think this might not be my position, but I think people should be free to say whatever they want. I really do. She has the right to say what she wants. Obviously, it's not the best thing for the comp for her to be popping off like that. But I don't really think this has anything to do with it. Uh, anything, really. Um, but, I mean, let's take a look. Is it in the context of the game? Yeah, is it in the context of the game? I don't know. Let me give you an example of how you could take this too far, okay? Let's say, I don't know. I don't know what she said. I don't know what she said, so here's a here's a... Uh, hypothetical okay let's say there was criticism and people said dude like what is with this game um why are they trying to add this sort of stuff to the game and then she went and and told told players like the players of of this game don't play ghosts of yote then you know go log off don't buy don't buy our, don't buy my game or don't buy my game but yeah don't don't buy ghosts of yote if she said that then that's really bad. But if she said like all of this stuff, you know, obviously this isn't a great thing. These aren't great things to say, but like, let's say that she said this completely irrelevantly. Like maybe this was like months ago and has nothing to do with Ghost of Tsushima. Then, you know, how is this Ghost of Tsushima's fault? They just wanted to hire somebody that they thought would be good for the job. I don't know. Anyway, let's look into this. I don't think having a female protagonist inherently makes the game better, though I'm aware that there are a lot of loud mouths who feel it makes the game worse. But what it does offer is twofold. Firstly, it displays a confident hand from Sucker Punch at the helm, guiding the series into a fresh territory instead of stagnating in the safety of familiarity. Secondly, it shows the studio is keen to be its own beast, wanting to tell the story it feels makes for the best experience, not catering to the vocal minority that another less confident and creative studio might have mined into a cheap adulation for subpar experiences. What's wrong with this? No, what's wrong with what's wrong with I don't I don't see anything wrong with any of this. What? What are people talking about? Like, what's wrong with any of this? Yeah, I don't I don't I don't see it. Like I, I didn't like okay, for instance, if she came out there, if she came out there swinging and said, yo, y'all are a bunch of like, you know, y'all are a bunch of women haters, fuck gamers, gamers are the worst, don't play our don't buy our games. Like if if they if she said that then I'd be like, okay, that's kind of bad. But this is like pretty, this is a pretty basic, like this is, this isn't a bad take. I don't want to give them clicks, but go ahead and read some mental illness on the website. Okay. Let's read the mental illness. Let's, let's read the alleged mental illness. This attempt was successful in that Tsushima won, but unsuccessful in that the critics didn't particularly care, um, care as many of us are quite fond of Tsushima, despite it despite thinking it was a higher ceiling to reach. This victory, as well as the proximity to The Last of Us, had seen Tsushima reach a deified status amongst gamers who care less about games, that, who care less about games than they do about being angry on the internet. I wrote a while ago that all of this uh, furor meant that Tsushima 2 didn't deserve the pressure it was under, and now Ghost of Yote was welcomed 
has welcomed that pressure by putting a woman front and center. Yeah. What? Yo, what? This is so light. Like, th dude, this is this is so. Like, who cares? Do I? Like, who cares? Like, dude, she wants to go to like a, a pride. Per who? I don't care. I literally don't care. I just don't want them to push their agenda in the game. If they're not pushing the agenda in the game, I don't care. It's not like a female protagonist is like a new thing. We've had this shit forever. And if you're going to say, well, she looks ugly or whatever the hell, she looks like a normal person. And like, this is how all the characters look in Ghost of Tsushima. She doesn't have to look like Stellar Blade. Like, not every game has to look like Stellar Blade. The problem is when they take a game and they purposely do it. Do you see what I mean? This is like an artistic choice. It has nothing to do with like... This is what the old, this is what the original Ghost of Tsushima looked like. It looked like this. The characters looked exactly like this. You know, so I, I don't I don't see it honestly. She's also in Dragon Age Veilguard. Well, okay, Dragon Age Veilguard has like a completely that's a diff, that's a completely different can of worms. It's not even the same, really. It's not even like comparable. Like, is this it? Is this the only trailer we have? Is there something I'm missing? Like, do we have her like girl bossing and like killing dudes and being like, that's for what you did for women? Like, it, like, like I understand, guys. Listen, I understand that there is a problem in the gaming industry of people pushing like kind of really wild, like agenda driven stuff, obviously. But listen, if you cry wolf like this, it's gonna make it's gonna make the counter argument true that all of the people who are against that kind of stuff that are against the propaganda it's gonna make it's gonna make all of us look like schizos you know what i mean like we gotta we gotta calm this down like this is crazy don't you know leaflet until very recently it was it was practically impossible for women to hold a sword well i mean it depends if you're making a game and you're like this is strictly like historical and like it's a educational thing where it's like true history then like i understand it you know, or if you're making a game that like the whole point of it is like to be like hyper masculinized and then, you know, then I can see it being like a thing like, well, you know, wait a minute. I'll say like Warhammer, for instance, where like there wasn't there wasn't any, um, I mean, you know, there, there are women in, in Warhammer, obviously, but they had different roles, right? They, they were like in different armies and stuff like that. Uh, so if you like took that and then put it into, you know, you injected it into something that didn't have it for the sake of it, then obviously it's a problem. You know, have we had a female fighter in Tsushima? I don't think so. But I don't see, uh, I mean, is this is this game saying that it's like fully historical? I don't know. She's obviously a fictional character, right? Oh, there was one. You're right. There was, there was one. You're right. Forgot about that. There was another character. Yeah, exactly. No, there's no problem with it. Funny you say that because Warhammer did that recently. Yeah, I don't know too much about the whole Warhammer thing. So like, I, I don't know enough about the lore to comment on it. But it did seem a little weird that they were, that they were doing that. I mean, I mean, again, like, it's not like there aren't girls in Warhammer. There's like the Sisters of Battle, right? So it's kind of like, I don't know. Congrats, guys. You're giving the game more advertising. We can't do this, guys. Like, we can't, yo, we can't, we can't be like, yo, those guys are being schizo. Let's fucking call it out that they're fucking shit up and then take it like all the way to the point of no whammons in my gaming. You see what I mean? Like, you're undermining your own point. Does that make sense? You're undermining your own position by going like too far and being kind of schizo. Because like, there's like, a, you have to understand, there's like a middle ground, right? There's like reasonable people. I assume like us. I feel like I'm pretty reasonable, right? So there's going to be like this kind of reasonable middle ground. And then it's kind of like, okay, you're, you're, you're taking the propaganda like a little too far. It's a little too obvious. You need to calm your fucking, your shit down, right? And then when you have, and then you're like, and then there's people that are saying like, oh, yeah, yeah, this propaganda is bad. Like, you know, fuck this. And it's like, oh, I get on board with that. I can get on board with that. Right. I'm like, yeah, get this out of my gaming. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want this. Right. And then they take that and they're, they're, they're taking you by the hand and they're taking you even further beyond to like, yeah, no women in my gaming. Yeah. Fuck women. Right. It's bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? Like, whoa, that's. That's not where I want. That's not where I wanted to go. I was, 
I was with you until until there. Now I'm like, oh, wait a minute. You know, so that means like people need to calm the fuck down. Uh, you're reaching for an excuse to be angry at this dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe more information will come out and there's some other crazy shit that's going on. But from what I'm looking at this, I, who cares really? She, she also likes to preach about eating the rich. I mean, again, like she's just fucking, she's an actress. <laughs> Are we really surprised guys? Is it, is it? She likes to preach about eating the rich. Yeah, she's an actress. And like, bro, like all the actresses do this. This isn't new. You know what I mean? Like, obviously I'm like, you know, ah, this is kind of annoying, but like, is this really like boycott Ghost of Tsushima over it? Like go Ghost of Yote or whatever? Like, dude, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, I like to eat the rich too. Yeah, it's cringe. It's cringe, but who cares? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. What is it? It's gonna suck. The game is gonna suck because one actress in it who didn't... I mean, did she say anything? Am I... Am I... Am I missing something? Did she say anything about Ghost of Tsushima? So, for instance, there's actually a parallel here. Do you guys know about the Snow White girl? Do you know what I'm talking about? The Snow White girl? Uh, what was her name? There was an actress that was in the new Snow White. Um, what was her name? She was in like Hunger Games too. Uh, yeah. So this is a parallel I'm drawing. Okay. So it's a completely different thing for like the actress of the thing to be like, yeah, you know, is Amarillo an ex? I don't think so. She's too dumb. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know who I'm talking about, though, right? The Snow White actress. So there's, like, a difference, right? Uh, oh, Rachel Ziegler. That's her name, right? Is that her name? Rachel Ziegler? Uh, so she's, like, the actress for Snow White, right? But then, like, in an interview, she's like, yeah, I'm the actress for Snow White. But I'm paraphrasing because this is... I, I don't remember her exact quote. But she basically was like, yeah, I'm the actress for Snow White. And I, like, don't like Snow White because, like, it's, like, nasty and it's weird and it's weird and I don't like it. And you have to understand it's like she's carrying the legacy of like this old work that was really popular and really like launched Disney was Snow White, the animated film. So she has like this legacy. There's a lot of fans that really, really like it. And she comes out and says, like, I don't like it. So it's like if she went out, for instance, or whatever, she I don't I don't know, man. Don't get mad at me. I don't fucking know. But if she went out and she was like, yeah, you know, I played the original Ghost of Tsushima and like it was so bad. And like, I think like it, 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 it's too masculine and I don't like it. So like, I can't wait to show my performance of like Ghost of Tsushima, you know, where I think girl women, uh, I think like women can be like bosses. If she said something like that, then it'd be like, whoa, what the fuck? You know what I mean? But she didn't say that. You see what I mean? Do you see the difference? That there's a difference between the two. Between like the Snow White girl and then like what she's what the, and what this person is saying. Um, let's look at this real quick. Apparently like another another tweet. PS5 Ghost of Yote triggers social media. Ex Sony exec says if you don't like it, buy it. This seems like a bad idea. This seems like a bad thing to say. As a ex wait, wait. This is an ex hold up. X so who cares dude who cares this guy this guy got fired or whatever like who cares yeah who cares who cares ah oh, man i don't know i feel like i feel like people are getting like pissed over nothing this is kind of dumb this entire controversy is kind of dumb i'd have to see like yeah th this is this is dumb i mean i don't see anything in this and, and you have to understand like this thread they're gonna go as hard as they can to make this person seem like a gamer hater. They're gonna go like as far as they can. And there's really not much here. So that kind of leads me to believe that there's nothing. You know what I mean? It leads me to believe that there's nothing. Because if there was something, they're gonna find it. Am I wrong? Yeah, this this seems, this seems, uh, seems like people taking things too far. And I understand the emotion of like, 
being fed up with the whole gamer hate, like girl boss, gamers are the worst. I understand like people being upset about that, but guys, we have to pick our battles. This is not one. This is not the right battle. This is just going to alienate reasonable people and reasonable people are going to be like, dude, you guys are fucking crazy. You guys are just as crazy as like, you know, the people that are that are shitting up games. 